census form that says you paid no taxes the year you were born, and that they figure the money due, along with all the interest that accrued, amounts to one million four hundred ninety-three thousand two hundred twenty-nine dollars and fifteen cents, including tip. Why don't you take a little trip? Why don't you get yourself straightened out? When an accident near the recruiting station results in your left leg's amputation, so you cannot return to college in the fall, and you lose your deferment and get your draft call, and they won't let you be a conscientious objector because you're a Sunday school dropout, why don't you take a little trip? On your crutches, maybe in your wheelchair. Now, if you happen to go out after dark and you don't get mugged while out in the park, watch out, the cops will figure you to be one of the muggers and they'll mug you. Furthermore, if you're afraid of being arrested for either spitting or not spitting in the subway, they got laws against both. Why don't you take yourself a little trip? You can get above all that, you know. And you don't have to walk either. While being knocked down by a crosstown bus, I had a momentary loss of consciousness due to the bus backing up again and exhausting all over me. So then I had a dreamlike meditation while receiving mouth-to-mouth resuscitation from a meter maid. I dreamt I caught a fatal dose of trench mouth, which sent me up to the pearly gates. Well, St. Peter came out and looked me over. Then he shook his hoary head and he said, Why don't you take a little trip? Well, I said, uh, no thanks. That sounds like a bad trip. Bye-bye. Don't forget to write now here. 